just got finished obsessing over Zeker and I showed you the Zeker mix. Well, here is their partnership with Waymo to provide a mobility platform for them. And originally it was called, I think, CME1. They're now referring it to as the Zeker RT, and that's what you see here. So I'm gonna give you a walk around. We're not allowed inside. But as I mentioned, this is still going to find deployments in the US. How many, what markets, we don't know. But Zeker at least has said they're still committed to deploy these in 2025, so sometime this year. Let's take a look at some of the details. I did a video on Waymo on my ride and broke down all of the autonomous driving kit from Waymo, all of the different components. I'll put a link to it up there if you want to check that out. But let's go through and just kind of familiarize ourselves. This is a test vehicle. Up here, you can see up at top, that is the uh, large long distance LIDAR sensor. So it's a multi-channel uh, pr providing a 360 degree view from around the vehicle and long distances. But it's not the only LIDAR sensor that this vehicle uses. You can see another one down here. So typically how Waymo works and other autonomous vehicles, actually, I'll, I'll point out a similar thing when I get to Zooks later on today, but that top one is providing that kind of long distance 360 degree view. And then these sensors like the LiDAR that is pointed downward is to see things that that top LiDAR sensor cannot. Uh, behind those plastic buttons there, those would be long distance radar sensor. An interesting thing I see on this one that you don't find on the Jaguar versions of the Waymo, and I got a secret, I gotta stay tuned to this video, I'm gonna show you yet another Waymo vehicle, but these cameras have cute little windshield wipers, isn't that adorable? Uh, one windshield wiper just like Cybertruck, but like a billionth the size. Uh, I do see a, a camera behind the front windshield there, I, that's probably just from the production vehicle. Anyway, these side pods, so each of the four corners there is a side pod you'll see another camera here with its own little baby windshield wiper uh on, that is kind of a high definition camera anywhere you see a larger uh opening for the camera that's a high definition these are smaller ones just for small obstacles general avoidance and these lights i've seen them light up um, to try and provide some illumination, uh, you know, for to see objects better, and then yet another radar sensor. Interesting though, in the Waymo vehicle, in the Jaguar version of the Waymo vehicle, excuse me, there is a side LiDAR sensor that is coming down. So you can see they're changing things up, trying to see what do they really need and what can they do without. So perhaps just avoiding obstacles on the side of the vehicle. They're comfortable with um, not using a side low definition LiDAR. Maybe there is one integrated in there, we'll have to see. But there you can see the Zeker logo, the front camera, LiDAR sensor, and lighting to provide some uh, obstacle imaging. Another pod on the side. So like the Zeker mix that I showed you over there, it's, you can tell it's not the same exact vehicle, but it sure does share a common architecture uh, with that in that it has the dual opening doors to create just an open environment. It actually, it looks like it would be a little bit bigger than the Zeker mix. I don't know for sure. After this, you know, I'm just gonna pace it out and I'll, uh, I'll see if I can prove it one way or another. But this is the CM, the S-E-A-M for mobility platform that Zeker is providing because of the tariffs, the 100% tariff that President Biden raised it to and it's unlikely to change under a Trump administration. This vehicle, it's not illegal, but it gets really expensive. So do they just deploy 50 of them, bite the bullet and just pay that tariff? Or do they get some kind of waiver? The other possibility or the other conflict is as part of another uh, White House under the Biden administration was the banning of autonomous Chinese and Russian technologies as well as location technologies. So um, that's gonna cause some problems for a vehicle like this. They may have to get a waiver and just show them that they've ripped out all the Zeker stuff 
And the only thing that le is left is the Waymo development kit, the autonomous development kit. So you can see the back pods on each side are different than the front ones. They do have this downward facing LIDAR. Now, if I recall correctly in the Jaguar, there was one LIDAR, one LIDAR, one LIDAR, all pointing down. So again, they're trying to find some synergies, some cost reductions. I guess they've determined that with these two LIDARs here and there, they can get a complete view. So if the vehicle's backing up, they've got no worries. Another long range radar, high definition camera with a baby wiper, and then some smaller cameras and lights to provide uh, visibility. Oh, sorry about that. Now, because you've lasted this long, I'm gonna show you the surprise, and oh my gosh, this was cleared out just a minute ago. Sony's actually, or excuse me, Honda is doing their uh, reveal, and it was just too crowded, so I'm gonna just watch it on YouTube later on. It is the Hyundai Ionic 5 version with the Waymo self-driving kit. So, announced uh, just a couple of months ago that Waymo would be working with Hyundai to integrate their kit on the Ionic 5. And this is a nice vehicle to be using for more autonomous rides because the Jaguar I-Pace is, you know, long in the tooth and Magna and Magna and Jaguar kind of just want to stop making it. So this is an opportunity for them to get a very nice electric vehicle platform that they can put the autonomous driving kit on and provide rides. So I'll give a quick loop around. You can see the, uh, the multi-channel LiDAR sensor up top, high definition cameras, two high definition cameras, radar camera. So this one just in general has a feel, maybe I can confirm later on with one of the representatives, it has a feel that it is like the Jaguar kit installed because it has that side LiDAR looking down, I'm guessing that's a radar and another camera. So that's interesting. It is different. Uh, each, each application, they must have to, you know, map out, put the sensors on, see where there are blind spots, and then move things around. But overall, this is a very attractive integration. I mean, it doesn't look, the, it doesn't look as bad. Okay, yes, that looks like it's been added on. That looks like it's been added on. Of course, that looks like it's been added on. But it's not that bad in terms of integration, and I think it's quite good looking overall. So I'll have to find out, see if I can get some confirmation on when these will be hitting the road. But this is the, I guess if you want to call it surprise, Waymo application of the Ionic 5 platform. And if you're wondering also, yes, Hyundai is going to be manufacturing this car at its Georgia plant production or sales will begin to the customers later in 2025 uh, before the before mid-year I think in second quarter actually let me see if I can find out that's uh, no open if it had the j3400 the Tesla Nax then this would be one of the US built ones but we'll just have to wait and find out reporting from CES 2025 battling the crowds